Let's move on to our final session of poll to poll innovations before we move on to the concurrent sessions for today. Uh, in 2019, uh, Engineering for Change partnered with the global technology company Siemens for the Innovate for Impact uh, Siemens Design Challenge to identify scalable solutions addressing two very important SDGs, zero hunger and clean water. In this spotlight, you will be introduced to the challenge and also the two winning teams for each of these SDGs, Ecolife and Food, uh, Eco, Eco Life Foods and the Guardian of Water. Let me welcome first John Miller to introduce the challenge. John Miller is a Senior Vice President of Mainstream Engineering Software for Siemens Digital uh, Industries um, Software. In his role, he's responsible for leading the company's go-to-market efforts for mainstream and engineering products, um, including Solid Edge and, and FEMAP. After John, we will be also hearing from the winners themselves, Hadija Namtambi from Ecolife Foods and Manuel Felipe Mejia from the Guardian Water. Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us and over to you, John. Um, first of all, welcome. And I'd like to thank uh, Yana and Engineering for Change for a great partnership. Um, over the past year, we've executed the uh, Innovate for Impact Challenge sponsored by Siemens, but it was all through the efforts and the help of the Engineering for Change organization. Um, it was about a year ago at Impact Engineer, where we actually sort of started to promote this challenge. And back then we had a very strong mission and, and vision for what we wanted to achieve, but we also knew it was gonna be a process of discovery. It was our first time doing this. And I look back now over this past year and think what this design challenge has showed us and how we as a global community confronted while doing this challenge, a healthcare, economic, and societal crisis. We've all had to embrace the concept of physical distancing, but in that process of adapting, we also accelerated our ability to basically be more connected than ever using digital tools. And I think what you're gonna see in our finalists, they've demonstrated that. When you have powerful tools, like some of the ones we provided, um, innovation can happen anywhere. You'll hear companies like Siemens talk about the uh, promise of the fourth industrial revolution. And what we mean by that is the convergence of our physical and our virtual worlds. And what this new world of innovation will do is it allows anyone, anyone with a passion for serving society, a commitment to continuous learning and access to digital tools to basically go out and challenge and solve some of the hardest problems we have in our time. But for us, we wanted to focus this collaborative energy on responding to the UN Sustainability Development Goals. And the reason for that is they're big and they're lofty, but they're also goals that no single entity can solve alone. We need to find a way to connect, um, collaborate and create together. So it's been an exciting challenge. Um, I'm amazed at the entrance um, and I wanna offer my congratulations to our finalist teams. Their designs were selected from more than 200 solutions. And interestingly enough, those solutions came from 34 countries 43 different universities. And I think that is a very impressive community of engineering students, practicing engineers, faculty, entrepreneurs, and basically global development practitioners. Um, what you showcase that can be achieved when we collaborate is amazing. And I think even more amazing is I think we as companies are starting to see that we need to embrace these digital tools ourselves just to keep our businesses going. But even more powerful is when you supply these kind of digital tools out to the community, we can tackle some of the hardest and most impressive or difficult global problems. So it's my honor to introduce the winning teams. Um, first of all, we're gonna hear from the Zero Hunger winning team, Ecolife Foods, who created a cold room storage solution that aids rural farmers in lessening crop loss. And our clean water winning team is Apu Yawin, the guardian of water, who designed a ready to assemble solar powered water desalination device. So with that, Congratulations, and I'd like you to hear from the teams now. I saw my dreams come true and the whole Ecolife dreams come true because we have worked super hard. Many in Uganda may no longer have to dream of food security. A team of global engineers has come up with a sustainable way to keep food fresh between the small farmer and the marketplace. 
It's called the Ecolife Cold Room. So much is wasted between the farmer and the retailer in the market. So if we have this solution go out in the community, we expect a big reduction in the food loss. This technology is a winner of a design challenge put together by Engineering for Change and Siemens. And the team's hope is that the impact will be felt far and wide. As an engineer, um, certainly technology has, has the ability to make environmental and social impacts. Winning this challenge a step for us to learn more and improve our solution and take it out there so that it can change lives. Everyone has the right to clean water. But around the world, water insecurity remains a fact of life for so many. This is true of the Parenskat indigenous community in the arid Bajira region of Colombia. They have to walk for getting the brackish water and really they struggle when the wind pumping system fails. They also have stomach diseases all the time due to the quality of water they drink. That's why a team of Colombian engineers developed a solar-powered water desalinator. It's a device that was developed along with the community to allow for greater acceptance of the technology. We are engineers always thinking in the technology, but we often forget the human side of the project. This technology is a winner of a design challenge put together by Engineering for Change and Siemens. And the team's hope is that its impact is felt far and wide. There are a lot of communities with similar conditions and we really hope to, to further develop the, the, the technology and to just spread it around the world. Thank you so much, John, and the Siemens Challenge winners. Um, we really want to give a, a big thank you to Siemens USA for supporting and partnering with Engineer for Change to design and launch this challenge successfully. So big thank you to them as well. I want to highlight that this type of challenges truly aligns with Engineers for Change mission to educate and activate the international engineering workforce. On our opportunities portal at Engineering for Change, a link that we will share now in the chat, you will also find job opportunities part-time opportunities, fellowships, and most importantly, other challenges that are also devoted to solving the most pressing challenges through technology. A special shout out to our partners, Habitat for Humanity, who just launched an innovation challenge around construction and waste management. There's also other opportunities like a World Vision Challenge. So be sure to check it out and keep engaging and in these opportunities that are meant um, to educate um, the engineers of the future. Um, thank you so much to all of our panelists uh, and speakers for the poll to poll innovation. As expected, this has been very insightful and we have gotten that very important perspective of the private sector and social enterprises driving jobs, education and sustainability for all. We now invite our attendees to transition into our concurrent sessions. These deep dives with our program partners and staff it will help you gain practical guidance and insights across research, social entrepreneurship, that as you can see is one of the focus of today and private sector domains. Please ask questions through the Q&A function and connect virtually directly with these practitioners and, and, and very interesting and high level speakers that we have brought to you today. The sessions that are coming up are Disrupting Engineering Education, the Network Effects, uh, Focus on Academia, uh, Strategies for Diversifying the Engineering Workforce, very important topic, uh, currently um, focused on diversity. Uh, and the third one, Assumptions and Hypotheses on how to de-risk your startup roadmap, led by our program partners and very close collaborators, citypreneurs and tech stars. After the concurrent sessions, we'll take a programming break from 11 a.m. to 12 Eastern. During this time, attendees are welcome to visit the exhibitor hall and network with other attendees in our thematic networking lounges. Just navigate to the left menu and click on networking and then groups to see the options for facilitated networking lounges. To join the networking lounge, just click on the lounge name and join. Uh, please note this become kept at 25 people and are only live during the event scheduled breaks. So be sure to take advantage of that and we will see you soon. Thank you.